Hi, in this video I'm going to tell you about uh, log files, do files, and comments in Stata. So these are all tools to help you document the work that you've done and which make it easy for someone else to replicate your work later. I'm going to start by telling you about log files. So to show you about these, I'm just going to pull up the help file for logs. So I go help log. And you can see echo copy of session to some file. So uh, there are a lot of options down here for what you can do. But uh, the ones I want to highlight for you are log using file name. So when you do this, you give it a file name. You tell it where to store the session log. And it's going to log everything which appears in this results window. So that means you're going to get a copy of your commands that you type because those show up in the results window. And you're also going to get a copy of whatever Stata told back to you after you ran those commands. So one thing you should know about these log files is that by default, they're in .smcl, .smickle format, which can only be opened in Stata. So you just want to be aware of that. Uh, the other thing that I want to show for you here is command log. Uh, so command log does something very similar. It keeps track of all the commands that you type during your session, but it doesn't keep any of the results from your commands. And this is going to save your commands in a .txt file, which is easy to open and everything. Uh, so, so command log, I always like to use this whenever I'm working in data that I haven't really worked with before where I'm, where I'm sort of exploring and trying to figure out what things to do because this lets me keep a record of all the things which I did to the data, which is as easy as possible to read. Uh, so to give you an example, I'm just going to click out of this and we'll open up a command log. So I've already set my current directory to be the desktop. So I'm just going to call this blah. So command log using blah. And now there's a .txt file called blah.txt on my desktop. If I like click over here to my desktop, you can see it showing up. So I go back over to Stata, and now I can type in some commands. So you'll notice I had affairs.dta, a Wooldridge data set, on my desktop. So I can use that data set. I bring it in. You can see the variables come in. I can summarize the stuff in that data. I forgot to set more off. Uh, so I get this stuff here. I'm just going to set more off now. Uh, and then after that, uh, I could leave myself a comment saying, don't forget to set more off next time. So comments you can leave by just putting a star in front of everything that you want to say. Obviously, if I just typed this in without the star, Stata would think I was typing some command and it would give me an error message because it wouldn't understand what I was trying to type. But so long as I put a star at the start of anything I wanted to say, then this leaves a little comment in the middle of my work, which is nice because then when I go back in here, I can open up this .txt file and there we are. I have all of these commands written in here. So I'm copying and pasting all of this, uh, or I'm copying this, and I'm going to paste it in one second. So those are log files. That's keeping track of stuff which you did in your session. Of course, one thing which would be nice would be to be able to run back your entire session as quickly as possible. To do that, you can run a whole bunch of commands at once using something called do files. So I'm going to start a new do file using the command do edit. And when I do do edit, I get this blank pop-up window here. I'm just going to paste in the stuff that I just copied out of my text file. OK. Uh, it's good practice at the start of a do file to include clear. And the reason for this is that you're going to get an error message if any of your commands in your do file Get, gives you an error message. And clear makes it so that you won't get an error message because the, there was a modified data set which was already open. Instead, so in, in general, good practice is to start your do file with clear and then bring in whatever data set you need to use in your do file. So I have this do file here. I can save this. I'll save this onto my desktop. I'll call it blurg. So I'm going to close out a blurg. 
And then to run those commands, I can just say do blurg. And now it's going to run all of this stuff after I said do blurg. It's going to clear, use affairs, sum, set more off, and tell me my comment. And at the end, if the do file runs properly, it will say end of do file. So I showed you, so do edit allows you to create a new do file. If I wanted to edit an existing one, all I have to say is do edit, and then I tell Stata which do file I want to edit. So I say do edit blurg, and if I do that, then I get right back to my do file. I can edit this and change it to my heart's content. So do files are really useful if you want somebody else to be able to replicate your work. You can just show them this code. They can run the code at their own convenience. You can see it takes them very little time to just run this file, which is already existing. Uh, and of course, obviously, comments become important in a do file because if you're trying to explain your work to other people or to your future self, uh, these are a great, great way for other people to see, uh, see the explanation for what you decided to do or your comments on the results which you're getting out of this file. So that's log files, do files, and comments.